So you just got a study Bible and you're not sure how to use it. How's it going, everyone? My name is Pastor Jeremy. Welcome to Genuine JC. Today, we're going to be talking about how to actually use a study Bible. It may not be as obvious as you think. It's the way that I use a study Bible is how I would encourage you is it's the Bible that I have on my desk that when I open the scriptures, in my main Bible that I'm taking notes in and marking up and writing in the margins of, and I'm coming across a text that I want to see more, that I want to see the cross references, I reach over, I pick up the study Bible, and then I look at the text because I've already started studying it. So what is the purpose of a study Bible? I think understanding the purpose of a good study Bible will help you understand how to actually use a study Bible. In a study Bible, there's going to be extra notes and things that attach to the text, commentaries, concordance at the back, little quotes and notes and cross references, all these little study tools to help you get to the meaning and understanding of the text. Now, depending upon the study Bible that you use, if it's one like this, the CSB Spurgeon study Bible, or if it's like the Reformation study Bible student edition, or if it's the ESV study Bible, whatever study Bible you use, the notes and the commentary are going to be a little bit different depending upon the Bible. And that's the main thing when choosing a study Bible, what are you looking for in terms of the notes, the study notes that are a part of that Bible? The whole purpose of getting a study Bible is to do just that, to study more, to have all of those things in one place so that as you're reading the text, you have study notes right there. So if you come across something you don't understand, you don't have to go to multiple other resources. You have it all in one place. So if you're someone who's looking for that convenience and having just one thing to look at and to just look at the, the chapter introduction and say, oh, okay, that's what Amos is about, right? You could turn to Amos and it's going to have at the front end of the book, it's going to have a chapter or a, a book introduction that's going to outline some of the context, some of the things that you may not know. That's what's going to be in a study Bible versus other Bibles that won't have that information. What's our first rule? Chris Roseboro says it on Fighting for the Faith. Context, context, context. A good study Bible is going to help you learn and read the scripture in its proper context. So should everyone own a study Bible? Absolutely. You can check out my channel for some of the reviews on the study Bibles that I own or at least have given away and used myself because I think a good study Bible is good and needed for everyone. But will your study Bible be the Bible you throw in your backpack and take with you everywhere? Maybe it's going to be the thing you bring to a Bible study that you have in someone's home. Probably not because it's so big. So how do you use a study Bible? I think when you know the purpose and it's to read in the proper context, the way that I use a study Bible is how I would encourage you is it's the Bible that I have on my desk or the Bibles that I have on my desk that when I open the scriptures, in my main Bible that I'm taking notes in and marking up and writing in the margins of, and I'm coming across a text that I want to see more, that I want to see the cross references, I reach over, I pick up the study Bible, and then I look at the text because I've already started studying it. Usually it's the thing I go to after I've been doing some study and research on my own. And that's how I found to best use a study Bible. Also, you can use multiple study Bibles that way because you're not focused on just one Bible. A good study Bible isn't all of a sudden going to make you understand everything. That's not what a study Bible is. It's not going to give you the understanding and outline of every text of scripture. You still have to do that study on your own, but it is, it is going to help you understand the right context and some of the definitions and things you might not otherwise know when looking at the text. So should you have a good study Bible? Absolutely, I've already said that. Which one should you get? You can check out some of the reviews on my channel. Guys, thanks for stopping in to learn about how you should use your study Bible. If you have ideas, how do you use it differently? I would love to hear in the comments below what are some of the things you do with your study Bibles. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember, faithfulness is pursued together. Peace.